So this is going to be a little bit different than my normal tutorial videos. This is actually a demonstration slash setup guide for the newest version of my stop action uh, toggle kit, which has recently been updated with a generator script for generating inventory systems and button toggles, courtesy of my friend CB. Huge props to him. This video is going to be a very basic setup of a single object that has two buttons, one off and one on. In the future, I will detail uh, further how to make more advanced setups, something along the lines of button one triggers object one and button two triggers object two and they turn each other off so you can have two objects with one system, that kind of thing. Right now, this is just going to be a very, very basic setup. So to get started, when you import the package, you'll only have one extra folder compared to before, which is editor. This has all the scripts that you need to get this working and to access the scripts, you go to window, stop action window, and here is your interface for the generator. So it's pretty self-explanatory how this is set up. Objects are the actual props that are going to be turned on and off with stop action. Buttons are the colliders that you're going to be touching to turn your props on and off. And triggers are the particles that you're going to use to touch the colliders to turn your objects on and off. So to get started, you're just going to add an object. I'm just going to call this cylinder because I want to turn this cylinder object that's in my hand here on and off a stop action. The parent of cylinder is the wrist, so that goes in parent, and the object itself is cylinder. Uh, Multi-toggleable is a more advanced feature for multi-toggle setups that I'll detail in future videos, so just ignore that for now. Buttons are again the collider, so I'm going to add a button group, which I'm just going to call C group for cylinder group. Um, since the colliders can be anywhere on the armature and work properly without needing any kind of joints or IK, this button isn't really necessary, but in the off chance that it doesn't want to work without that kind of setup, this button will actually just generate the positioning setup for you, so you don't have to worry about making rigid bodies or fixed joints or setting up IK follower. This will do all that for you. For the demonstration, I'm just going to make the parent my avatar root, but depending on wherever you have this, you can put this in your hand or your arm or wherever you want your buttons to be. I'm going to add two buttons because I need on and off. And since these are just colliders, there's nothing else to set up here, so our buttons group is done. Triggers are, once again, the particles that are going to be touching the colliders, so we're going to add a triggers group, call this C triggers, or cylinder triggers. Once again, uh, wherever you would want this, normally I would put this at like the tip of my finger, so I would make the parent object, say, index finger 3, so that the trigger shows up there. In this case, since they're the particles that need to be sampled, I am going to check use final IK plus IK follower, and that's going to automatically set up an IK limb if you have final IK with IK follower for the offset so that this works with networked IK without needing joints and without needing to finagle with anything else. Alternatively, you could just use IK follower. That does work too, which is what I do sometimes. So you have some options here. Going to add two triggers because we need an on particle and an off particle to be interacting with our two buttons. This is just going to be on, this is just going to be off. And the setup for the actual triggers themselves is pretty simple. We're going to want the on button to interact with the on trigger, so we put the button from our buttons group into the button part of our trigger. And the target is going to be which state we want this to toggle. The states are generated on the objects themselves, so each object you create is going to have two states, on and off. So for on, we want to make a new target. Cylinder, which is our object, target state, on. And now this is set up, and we're just going to do the same thing for off. Off button is going to be our collider. It's going to trigger the cylinder object to turn off. Now that we have all of our fields filled in, we hit generate system, successfully generated system, which is indicated by the object turning off because now it's managed under stop action. Under index finger three, you'll see the triggers object, which is our particles, which 
has our two particles on and off right here. And in the group, we have our on button collider and our off button collider. So if I move these separately, you'll see we've got two colliders in one group. This can go anywhere uh, on your hand or wrist or head or wherever you want your buttons to be for the stop action triggers. And that's all you need to do. If I go into play mode, I can move the particles into the colliders to turn my object on and off. No messing around with prefabs, no setting up animators, no messing around with triggers or submitters or particle systems at all. Nice and clean managed under a single script. If you are interested in picking up this package that includes the script, please contact me on Discord. And once again, just a huge shout out to CB for, for coming through with this. It's an incredible job he's done.